Hey guys, Nintendrew here. Today I have something to show you all that I am really excited about. This is InReal Air, a pair of smart glasses that can project a virtual 130 inch TV screen in front of you for movies, games, and more. They're compatible with smartphones, with consoles like the Nintendo Switch, and even with the Steam Deck. And today we're gonna be checking out the InReal Air glasses to find out what they're capable of and to determine whether or not they're worth the price of entry. So let's get to it. All right, so cards on the table. I've been following In Real Air for quite some time, so when they reached out and offered me a chance to check it out in person, I jumped at the opportunity. That being said, this video is sponsored by In Real, but as always, the opinions presented are 100% my own. When you first open the box, you'll find the In Real Air comes with a few accessories. There are three sizes of nose guards, a blackout shade, and an adapter for prescription lenses, along with the USB-C cable you'll use to connect it to your device. Typically, if I were to travel with my Switch, for example, and wanted to have a bigger display on the go, I'd have to bring along a television, which is both too big to carry and too small to actually make much of a difference. But with InReal Air, I have a giant TV with me wherever I go. And yes, I will be doing the entire video with them on, so I'll look super cool. The way this works is that there's a tiny little HD screen in the top of each eyepiece that projects downward, then it's reflected off this angled piece towards your eyes, similar to the way a teleprompter works. So you can still see the world around you, but a giant virtual display is overlaid on top of your view. Additionally, there are two directional speakers located in the arms for a cinema-like sound experience. When using it with a Nebula app on a compatible smartphone, you'll have two options to choose from, AR Space and Air Casting. AR Space is a fully 3D experience where you can physically place virtual windows in your viewing area and watch videos or play games in that mixed reality space. This option makes use of the device's built-in head tracking, so those virtual screens will always stay in place relative to where you've put them. Air casting, on the other hand, is basically just a full screen view of your device's display that is always directly in front of you. But with this option, you can also opt for a picture-in-picture -picture side view, so you could be watching your favorite show while doing the dishes or laundry. Or you could even see walking directions from Google Maps while still looking at the sidewalk in front of you. One of the most fascinating things to me about this is that the InReal Air glasses don't have a built-in battery. You don't have to charge them. If you're using them with your phone, the phone provides enough power over USB-C to drive the experience. Or if you're using it with the Switch, you'll use this other accessory called the InReal Adapter. This allows any device that can output over HDMI to display on the glasses. Now, unlike the glasses, the InReal Adapter does require a charge. But again, because the glasses themselves don't, that's just one more item in your Switch case to keep charged, along with controllers and whatever else you might have, for a portable TV experience. So I think it's worth it. You could even choose to just charge it on the Switch dock when not in use. Unfortunately, the adapter does have just one USB-C port, so you can't charge it and use it at the same time. That's a bummer for those of us who would prefer to have a more permanent setup. But again, because this device is all about portability, I doubt many will complain. If you've got a portable Switch dock like this one, all you'll need to play the Switch with InReal Air is a power outlet for the dock and an HDMI cable along with the InReal adapter. And of course, again, if you just want to watch movies on Netflix or videos on YouTube, like you are right now, you can use it directly with your phone. I've started to do this even to fall asleep. I'll just put on a stream, hook up the glasses, and kick back. Now to use the Nebula app's AR space, you'll need a compatible smartphone, so I'll have a link in the description so you can see if yours will work. But for air casting, any device that can output over USB-C should work just fine. It also works with the Steam Deck, and in this case you can just plug it in directly. I have a giant TV in my bedroom. I mean, it's not like super massive, but it's like a 65-inch television, and I've found that I have preferred using the InReal Air glasses to the TV. I played through almost the entire Metroid Prime Remastered campaign with these things, and it was shockingly immersive. It almost feels like there's some ambient, subtle 3D effect going on. Everything just pops in a way that's hard to explain. But that may just be my brain playing tricks on me with this massive screen in front of me. Speaking of 3D, I love 3D tech. I like 3D movies, I like the 3DS, I think it's a crime that 3D televisions never really caught on and I hope they make a comeback at some point. And yes, I even love the Virtual Boy. Which got me thinking. Could I use the InReal Air glasses to play Virtual Boy games in 3D and basically make a next-gen Virtual Boy? Well, with the Steam Deck and a little bit of ingenuity, I managed to do exactly that. I contacted InReal to ask about 3D content specifically, and they let me know about an experimental side-by-side -side 3D mode. By holding down the Brightness Up button, you can increase the internal resolution from 1920x1080 to 3840x1080 for side-by-side -side HD three-dimensional content. Then, it was just a matter of downloading and running the Mednafin emulator on the Steam Deck. 
With this setup, I was able to emulate Virtual Boy games in full 3D on this massive virtual display. That's crazy. <laughs> what? Okay, I know you all won't be able to see exactly what I'm saying, but I'll try to describe what this looks like. It's almost like there's a there's a three-dimensional display in front of me. Like, I can see the court on Mario Tennis, and uh, Mario looks like he's, like, maybe four feet in front of me in this space right in front of my consoles, and then Donkey Kong Jr. is way in the back. But I can still see the game room behind the gameplay. But if you want to opt for a more private gaming experience, you can also put on these blackout shades, which completely immerses you in the gameplay. Honestly, the Virtual Boy has never looked this good. <laughs> I've got to be honest with you guys, this is one of the coolest pieces of tech that I have experienced in the past decade. I will probably never travel again without these glasses on hand. It's just too convenient to be able to have an IMAX-like screen in your pocket. Now I have a Valve Index, which is a great system for VR, but honestly I'm more excited by this tech. This is closer to something like Microsoft HoloLens or Google Glass than a VR headset, but because there's a dedicated 1080p screen for each eyepiece, you won't experience any of the screen door effect or pixelation that you might be used to from similar devices. Overall, I cannot recommend the InReal Air enough. It's available right now on Amazon for $379, I'll have a link in the description below, and while the InReal adapter will cost you an extra $59, that's well worth the price of entry in my opinion. You could spend $450 on a brand new television, or you could spend about the same amount on a massive screen that you can carry around wherever you go. And to be honest, if they hadn't already sent me a pair to review, I would be ordering one right now. They're just that cool. But what do you think? What would you use a giant screen that you can carry around in your pocket for? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you all so much for watching this showcase of the InReal Air Smart Glasses. I hope you enjoyed. As always, if you did like the video, please do consider subscribing to Nintendo for all sorts of cool gaming content, and make sure to share it with any friends who might find it interesting. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye!